Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Techno Talks here. So we just got iOS 13 Public Beta 3, that it just got released around two days ago. And today I'm gonna be downloading it and talking about the two main things that actually changed. So one of them was the bug fix, the storage bug fix, where when you downloaded iOS 13, iOS 14 Beta 2, um, there was a storage bug where it would just take up like 20 gigs, 40 gigs, 60 gigs, and this depended on your device. It would change through devices. Some people didn't even get it, so the people that didn't get it, um, they're lucky, I guess. But in beta 3, this has been fixed, and also the second main thing that got added was the clock widget. So the clock widget, you know, I feel like that should have been one of the first widgets that they added, but it wasn't, but they finally got it. So let's get on with it. So I got the update, it's in my settings right now, iOS 14 public beta 3, as you can see right here. You know, let's go back really quick and check my storage. So in my storage, as you can see, 20.3 gigs used, so not that much. Um, let's take out a gig for the public beta 3, the, th the update storage, I guess. So we can take off a gig from that, so 19 gigs. But as you can see right here, 10.59 gigs are being used by the system and I basically have no apps on here as you can see there are no apps on here so there's basically nothing I only have around 8 to 10 apps and yeah I have 20 gigs getting taken up and 10 of that is from the system so that's what the bug I'm talking about is it basically takes up a whole bunch of storage for no reason so I've seen that it's gone fixed from tons of other people and today I'm going to be downloading it just to see if it has actually been fixed. So let's get on with it. Software update, you're just going to go to your updates and it should already pop up. If you have automatic updates on, it should have already downloaded it overnight or something. But if you don't have it, you're just going to go to your general and then you're going to click software updates and it should pop up. So iOS 14 public beta 3, we're going to install this. Let's install this really quick. Okay, so we started installing. Once this installs, I'm going to get back to you guys, and I guess see you then. Hey guys, so we're back now. It took around 25-30 minutes to complete the update, um, but I did get on a little later. Um, it's been around an hour since the update completed. So, let's check out the storage. Um, let's see if it actually made a difference. So, let's go to our settings really quick. Go to General. Um, let's go to iPhone storage, boom, 14.1 gig. This used to be 20 gigs, and let's see, system 6.8. So it's still using up a good amount of storage, but it's not as bad as before. Hopefully, once iOS 14 completely releases, all of this is going to be fixed, all the bugs are going to be fixed. So that's one of the things I was going to show you guys in iOS 14 public beta 3. But the next thing i like to show you guys is the clock widget. So they finally added the clock widget. And also we get these new things when you first use the um, jiggle mode and other things. So let's go to add clock. So the clock widget. This was the one I've been waiting for since the first release of the first public beta of iOS 14. And they finally brought it on beta 3. So you know what? Let's just add this one right here. You know, just drag it down. Get this one right here. Boom. Right there. We have our clock widget. And it moves as time passes. The second hand doesn't move too much, but it does move. So let's go back. Also, um, one thing I like to point out with the clock widget. So let's re remove this one really quick. Okay, so let's remove that. Oops. So remove widget. Remove. Um, apparently, I haven't tested this out yet, but apparently if um, it's like nighttime... Um, the clock widget like the color changes as you can see right there. It's blacker There's a white and a black version. So at night it's black at white. It's white I mean during the day it's white at night. It's black. Sorry about that. So let's check out let's check this out really quick Let's see. So Cupertino, New York. Let's add someplace else. Let's add London. Maybe let's go to London really quick London England right there So let's add that in let's go back now so I'm pretty sure that one's London right there. Let's see. Yeah, that's Paris right there. Um, so it's nighttime over there. So it's a darker theme. But 
you know, that's the two, those are the two main features I'd like to talk about, or the two main features that did come to iOS 14 public beta 3. They're pretty nice features, you know, that clock, um, the clock widget is really nice. Hopefully, as we get more public betas, we're going to get more widgets, uh, more access to other widgets, and also we're going to get widgets for other apps. So that's going to be pretty nice. Um, they did fix that storage issue, which was one of the biggest bugs that we had. They had some other bugs, like in the mail app, you weren't able to select some stuff, but now you're able to do that. But these two were the biggest problems. Well, one of them was a really big problem in public beta 2. And the second thing, the clock widget, was just a nice feature to have. So that's about it, guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next video.